Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we are talking about Django on 4K. This is the 1966 Spaghetti Western classic directed by Sergio Corbucci, starring Franco Nero. This package, this limited edition box set from Arrow Video, also includes Texas Adios, another 1966 Spaghetti Western, also starring Franco Nero, and uh, directed by Ferdinando Baldi. Now, Texas Adios is on Blu-ray here. Django is only on 4K. This does not include a Blu-ray of Django. This is a 4K presentation. Here's what we're gonna do in this video. We're going to talk about this package. It's the be-all, end-all for Django. This is the one you want, but I'm gonna tell you why. We're gonna talk about the film itself. I'll show you some screenshots, and then we're gonna talk about the production history of this particular box set, because it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so let's kick it off with uh, Django. So it's a very important spaghetti western. Sergio Corbucci is a very important director. He's the second Sergio. Of course, we're also referencing Sergio Leone, who with the Clint Eastwood, Man With No Name, The Dollars trilogy, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which we just talked about on 4K a couple of weeks back. Uh, those Leone's films are the top of the mountain for spaghetti westerns. They're the ones that everybody thinks about. They had such cultural impact. Even if you haven't seen them, you know the music, you know the characters, you know the scenes. But Corbucci is just as important, but perhaps in different ways, because Corbucci was bringing more of an exploitation element to things. You can see the roots of Italian horror. You know, we're predating Giallo here. But you can see where it's coming from. You can see it down the road. It's also worth mentioning that the assistant director of Django is Ruggiero Diodato, who would go on to the cannibal holocaust uh, <laughs> uh, controversy, I guess. But uh, there's so much violence here. It takes things to a whole other level. The camera does not shy away from violence. It's comic book violence. All these movies are very, they're larger than life. I'm showing you guys screenshots right now too. A quick note on those. These screenshots were taken with my phone. Do not make up your purchasing decision based on these screenshots. I do the best I can. It, it actually is kind of amazing to me how much of it comes through in these phone sh snapshots, but don't, <laughs> these are not technical uh, presentations to be taken too seriously. These are just so you can go, oh, that scene, or oh, that looks cool. Uh, so Corbucci, he's pushing the boundaries. He's pushing what you can do on camera. There are, you know, it's controversial. There's a scene, I'm not gonna spoil this movie, but there's a scene where one of our characters has his hands smashed by the butt of a rifle, like repeatedly. They just break all the bones in his hand so he can't hold his gun. As if that's not enough, Corbucci then has about 10 horses right over this man's hands. <laughs> they're just like, they're just like, you know, exploded at that point. So uh, this is what we're, it's over the top. It's ridiculous. And these movies are by nature, they're comic book films, right? They're, I mean, they're not actually based on comic books, but the imagery, you know, you're, you're looking at a very photographic, very, very extremely uh, iconic cinematography. You're looking at uh, the music. Oh my goodness, you guys. Louis Bakalov and his Django music. Incredible. We're talking about roots in opera, which is of course Italian, and we're talking about uh, the 60s rock scene that had bled into other things. You mix those together. I mean, it's an incredible score. It all comes together for an extremely powerful story. The plot of Django in brief. A man <laughs> walks into frame. It's muddy. It's rainy. It's wet. He's He's carrying, he's dragging a coffin over his shoulder. What's in the coffin? We find out about halfway through the movie, maybe a little bit before. Uh, it's one of the coolest reveals in all of Spaghetti Westerns. And the character of Django, you know, these are characters that are, you know, fringe characters. They play both sides against each other. They're anti-heroes. Uh, Django is so cool. And Franco Nero, who I believe was 24 at the time, is himself so fascinating as an on-screen, I mean, he's, he's enigmatic. So those eyes, those just like piercing bright eyes with the dark, the dark hat, the dark face. I mean, we get some of the most iconic imagery in all of Spaghetti Westerns from this film. So the transfer, now how does this movie look on 4K? Man, this movie looks absolutely fantastic on 4K. They've gone in, this is one of those transfers where they've gone in and they've erased like pieces of dirt and damage to the frames. So hundreds, the book that comes with this, there's a 60 page book. It tells us that they've gone in and meticulously made the image as, uh, as clear and blemish free as possible. So 
this is the one you want. And I know this is a controversial release, right? Because here's here's a bat. We're not going to get super in the weeds on this, but another studio has had the rights to Django on Blu-ray. Well, Arrow has tried to release this particular box set twice before, but Blu-ray. So a Blu-ray of Django, a Blu-ray of Texas Audios. Both times they were pulled at the last minute. Some of you guys got them. Some of you guys were able to get this shipped from Amazon. Uh, the way forward with this, with that rights dispute, that distribution rights dispute, is to make this a 4K package. So Django here is 4K only, Texas Adios' Blu-ray. As far as I know, there has been no announcements about a Blu-ray version of this set. This is a 4K combo, and there is no Blu-ray for Django. I want to make that very, very clear. Uh, if you have the Blu-ray package of this, that's not the same <laughs> as this package. So... Let's look at what's actually included here. First of all, the special features. There's about, I mean, there's close to three hours of documentary footage. They've talked to everybody associated with Django. First of all, we've got the Italian audio. I watched it in Italian. We've also got the, uh, the English dub. Uh, here are the, let's go through this really quick. Uh, they talk to um, Franco Nero. It's a new interview with Franco Nero. They talk to Ruggiero Diodato. They talk to Sergio Corbucci's wife, Nora, Nori Corbucci. They talk to the co-writer, Franco Rossetti. They talk to uh, the other co-writer, Piero Vivarelli. They talk to the stuntman, Gilberto Galimberti. They talk to uh, Austin Fisher, a Spaghetti Western aficionado. They talk to Alex Cox, another aficionado of these films. Uh, there's also a commentary. So you look at, I mean, it's like four and a half hours worth of special features in this box set. And that's just the on disc special features. So also actually before I, let's, before I go further, let's talk about Texas Audios and then we can move on. Uh, it's got an audio commentary by Spaghetti Western experts. C. Courtney Joyner, you know how much I admire and respect Mr. Joyner and Henry C. Park. The Sheriff is in Town, an interview with star Franco Nero. Jump into the West, an interview with Alberto Del Acqua, uh, the co-star. That's My Life Part 2, an archival interview with Franco Rossetti. That's, so part one is on Django, part two is on Texas Adios. Uh, an, uh, an appreciation by Spaghetti Western scholar Austin Fisher. You've got promo galleries, you've got uh, the trailers. I mean, there's so much stuff here. So if you're into the pack-in goodies, we've got a double-sided poster, fold-out poster as well. Uh, this is, I prefer this one. This is my favorite piece of art, but it's hard to go wrong with it. I mean, I just love this, that they've included this. We've also got in the 4k package itself here. I'll show you the front. I'll show you the back. Oh, by the way, the teaser, the arrow teaser is the stylist in case you're wondering, well, you know, they always throw a little teaser in there of what's coming next. So, uh, here's our 4k disc and here's Texas Audios on Blu-ray. As you see, no Django on Blu-ray. Okay, we also have six double-sided, I guess, art cards, photo cards. Uh, beautiful, beautiful package. Be for those of us who, uh, oh, by the way, reversible cover art is real. Uh, cover wrap, the other side is the, uh, the, the cover of the, the box itself. But I, I like, I always flip them, right? Because I want to have that double, uh, yeah, two pieces of artwork for the same for the same film. Now we cannot underplay this sixty page perfect bound booklet as well. It's not even a booklet. It's just a book. This is filled with essays, photos, uh, really helping us to put the works of Corbucci, uh, Franco Nero as a star, the spaghetti western movement. There's Here's the thing. These are intimidating genres to get into. Spaghetti Westerns, film noir, even giallo. You know, these can be hard. They can be daunting for a newer film fan or you're just getting into some of this stuff. The, the entry level can feel kind of high. So things like this are very important to help us navigate the waters. And so, you know, I try to do this. Much. I've tried to do it in this video to try to make this less intimidating and more fun and approachable. But when you can read these and you can be like, oh, here's how this is kind of an overview of the whole Spaghetti Western cycle, how long it lasted, what some of the key elements of this movement are, you know, what defines it, what, um, what makes it so interesting and unique. And there's a lot of text here, but I love that. I, I want to learn as much as I can. So check that out. That's very, very cool. Uh, so they talk about both. They, they mostly talk about Django, but there is a little bit of a uh, look contemporary reviews. So they have the, the actual 1966 reviews of Django, uh, 
from the people that watched it and reviewed it at the time. So it's not a retrospective. You get to see like, well, this is what they thought about it when it was brand new. A little bit of information about Texas Adios, including who is associated with it. And the, you know, I like how Arrow does that. They, they'll give you everyone involved. You've got the, I mean, look, you've got the cast, you've got the editor, you've got the art direction, very important stuff. So uh, I love, I love this added information. I know I've heard, listen, we've heard from certain people associated with releases behind the scenes that, uh, no, nah, no booklets, man. Nobody reads a booklet. I read the booklets and I think that information is invaluable. We need it. We want it. So, uh, Django on 4k from arrow video, as you have seen with your own eyes, it's an absolutely stunning package. And you get Texas Audios on Blu-ray. If you have 4K cap capability, this is the one you want. Uh, and if, if, if it's worth an upgrade, if you have the Blu-ray, if you're considering if it's worth an upgrade, for me, I would say that the difference is very noticeable. But, uh, you know, 4K carries four times the information of, uh, of a Blu-ray. So you will notice it. It's a, it's a wonderful film, and it's uh, something that is... Call it, we should be celebrating this movie. We should be talking about Sergio Corbucci. And I'm going to tell you guys, as a genre film fan, which I am, I am a, I'm not a collector first, I'm a film fan first. My collection is an extension of my film fandom. I want to see these movies. I want to see them in the best way that I can. I want that booklet. I want to learn. I want to listen to the commentary tracks. That's why I have all this stuff. It's not doing me any good if I don't care about the movies as a fan of these movies. This is so exciting for me to have the good, the bad, and the ugly on 4K, to have Django on 4K. This gives me hope that there's a new wave of interest coming for spaghetti westerns in my time and just in the, just the time that I've been a creator. Uh, going back to about 2013, going back to that time that I've been talking about movies, I am for so long. I was like, why aren't more people interested in spaghetti westerns? I'm finally starting to see it, and that is incredibly exciting. So, Saddle up, guys. It's a it's a great time to be a fan of these movies, to be discovering these movies, and we can have conversations like this that are meaningful and really elevate fandom, ele elevate cinema passion. I'm so excited about where we're going. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to put a purchase link to where you can buy this in the description of this video, so you can scroll down into the description, and there it shall be. Guys, thanks so much. Take care. And until next time, I will catch you later.